Hello and welcome to tonight's uh, SBC News. The public health and social measures uh, amid the COVID-19 pandemic uh, will be lifted as of uh, tomorrow. It is, however, mandatory to continue to wear face masks aboard public uh, transport. This uh, includes uh, taxis, public buses, ferries uh, and uh, planes. The Public Health Commissioner, Dr. Jude Gédéon, made this announcement this morning in a press meeting. The ease of the COVID-19 restrictions follows the decision of the Platinum Committee last month, having observed an improvement in COVID-19 cases. We have been tracking, and based on our current situation, the country feels that we can um, re um, remove or um, rather allow all organizations to maintain the SOPs and operate as per the SOPs. The only um, mandate that we would keep as obligatory or mandatory is wearing of masks in public transportation, which includes buses, taxis, ferries, and air, air, aircrafts. For the other places, um, the organization or the facilities SOP has to apply and it must be respected. The two remaining accused in the missing $50 million case, Mukesh Valabji and Sarah René, have pleaded not guilty to the changes brought, charges sorry, brought against them by the Anti-Corruption Commission. Fifteen charges in all were read out in court this morning. There are ten charges against Mr. Valabji relating to conspiracy to steal, official corruption, abuse of authority, conspiracy to launder money and money laundering. A joint charge against both Mr. Valabji and Mrs. René is conspiracy to launder money and four charges against Mrs. René alone relate solely to money laundering. Chief Justice Ronnie Govinden has fixed the 11th of April next year as a date to commence hearing, which is expected to last until the 31st of July the same year. The Seychelles Revenue Commission is modernizing its tax collection system. This will make it easier for businesses to submit their information and make payments. This system, which will be on the Internet, is still being developed. There are six phases and the first activation of the registration mod module will be in September 2022. The entire project is expected to be completed by 2024. It's to support the economic partnership agreement. It is being funded by EU under the 11th EDF and the project is being implemented by GOPA, um, a worldwide consultant. The duration of the project uh, is about uh, three years. Um, uh, the aims and objectives of the new tax management system, um, uh, it's mainly for us to um, uh, reduce revenue leakages and increase revenue collection, improve our service delivery and ease of doing business with SRC, improve our e efficiency and effectiveness, and improve communication with uh, taxpayers. We also want to encourage more taxpayers to, to use our online services. And in the future, we aim to move towards uh, paperless uh, administration. The Tourism Department uh, has opened its doors for businesses to Parapi. This was done at the Tourism Information Office uh, at uh, Independence House this morning. Parapi is an innovative and user-friendly platform that collects, checks and shares uh, destination information online. Entrepreneurs and different organizations in Seychelles got the chance to understand how it works and to register. The Director General for Marketing in the Tourism Department, Bernadette Villemin, said that businesses can come to register every Tuesday and Thursday on Mahé, where the registration will be done at the Tourism Information Office. On Pralin, this will be at the District Administration Office and on La Digue at uh, the Bureau La Passe. The Department of Employment has resumed its executive leadership development training in collaboration with the Guimorel Institute. 
A first group of over 30 participants from the public and private sectors, as well as parastatals, attended the three days training last week, while a fresh group was expected to follow suit this week. The aim of the training is to empower leaders, especially in the position of mid-managers and supervisors, with invaluable knowledge and skills to enable them to improve on their professional leadership in order to enhance their ability to lead within their respective organizations and beyond. President Wavell Ramkalawan has sent a message of congratulations to his French counterpart Emmanuel Macron on the occasion of the French National Day, Bastille Day today. In his message, President Ramkalawan has on his behalf and that of the Seychellois people congratulated President Macron and sent his, his, his sincere wishes of further progress and prosperity to the French people. Welcoming the excellent relations of friendship and cooperation which unite the two countries, the Seychellois president reaffirms his firm determination to continue, and I quote, to work for the strengthening of our relationship and our bilateral cooperation within the limits of our responsibilities. The Seychellois president concludes his message by expressing the wish that under the leadership of President Macron, the deep traditional friendship that binds France and the Seychelles will continue to develop within the framework of the fruitful franco seychellois partnership. The SBC is advising the public that uh, as uh, from uh, Friday the 15th of July tomorrow, the email uh, news.secretary at SBC will uh, not uh, be operational as SBC will be doing some changes with its email services. Uh, all emails should be sent to SBC News Secretary at gmail.com. The newsroom can also be reached on uh, telephone 4289651 and on WhatsApp uh, on 2823479. The news.secretary at uh, sbc.sc will be back to normal on Monday, the 11, 18th of uh, July. And uh, with this, uh, we end uh, this uh, news uh, summary. Thank you for watching and have a very pleasant evening.